Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar channel, and in today's video I'll show you how I turn photos into usable text using Google Keep and the Plain Text Paste app. Okay, so I've done quite a few videos recently about exporting text from PDFs, from Kindles, and the like. Since I'm in graduate school now, this is relevant to my life. But to be fair, I've always been a note taker. My memory is not great and I read a lot of nonfiction. It's really the only way for me to retain more than the most superficial information from the books that I read. I've gotten so that I really prefer to read my books on a Kindle and my primary reason is that I like the ability to easily make highlights and quick notes when I'm reading and then I can export all of those highlights to an Evernote note. When I'm reading a physical book and I want to highlight something or make a note, I have to put the book down, go get my phone, and then type in the quote. Well, what if there's a big chunk of text that I want to quote? Surely there has to be a faster way than typing in the whole thing. So sometimes I use Siri to dictate it. That works okay, but it's time consuming and it's error prone. Plus I need to do it at a time where I'm not going to embarrass myself or bother other people by dictating out loud. So here's another solution. Take a photo of the page and then turn that photo into text that you can use. So I'm not averse to using new apps, but I'm always pleased when I can use an existing app for a new purpose. I use Google Keep to jot down quick handwritten notes and to share things across devices. But it turns out that Google Keep also has a pretty good OCR capability or optical character recognition. So here's what you do. Open Google Keep on your phone. So you'll need to download the free app if you don't already have that. You're gonna choose the camera icon to start a note by taking a photo. Now you're going to tell Google Keep that you want to take a photo, so you may have to give it access to your camera the first time around. Take a photo of the page of your book. You're going to make sure that your book is as flat as possible. The better the photo, the better Google Keep will do at recognizing the text properly. And then choose to use photo. So now poke the middle of the photo to, to make it full screen, and you're going to give it a little bit of time. So the more text there is in the photo, the more time that it will take to recognize the text. When you choose the three dots, eventually there is going to be a choice to grab image text. Um, if you don't see it right away, then you'll have to come back and check later. Choosing that option will add the text to your note. Voila! So now you'll notice that it puts a line break between each line. So this may be okay if you're dealing with a list, but it's not so good if you're trying to extract a paragraph of continuous text. So you could go in and delete each line break, but I like to use another one of my simple tool apps plain text paste. So first copy the text and then open plain text paste. It automatically pastes in whatever was already saved to the clipboard so your passage is already there. Now choose the three dots and choose to remove new lines. Voila again! This app also automatically copies whatever text you have to the clipboard so you can just switch from this app to wherever you want to paste your note in like Evernote and paste it in. So this technique may require a little bit of cleanup, so you'll need to ascertain whether this saves you time or not. It really depends on how fast you type and how long the passage is. I tend to disdain busy work and enjoy shortcuts, so it is something that I use frequently. Let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated, and thanks for watching.